Um, this is Ken Urban uh, for my CSC classes here at Parkland College. Uh, this is sort of an overview of how to compile and run things remotely. Um, last time I showed how to install Putty, so I have Putty here. Uh, the machine we're connecting to is www.csit.parkland.edu. We have our login for uh, the remote system. And then we have our password for the remote system, which you should have set up already. If not, see the notes. Remember, the password doesn't appear as you type. Okay, so now I'm on to the remote system. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is create a directory called uh, CSC125. Uh, whoops, oh, I already have one called CSC125. Uh, let's just do it real quick. Uh, I'll make a directory called sample, and then or a folder called sample, and then I'll move into that folder or open that folder called sample. Right. So every project has to have its own directory. Don't even argue with it. Don't put all bunch of stuff in the same directory. Just keep them all separate. Now I'm going to edit um, my C++ file. I'm just using the simple editor called Pico. There are many others, Emacs, VI, to name a few, um, that require a little bit of knowledge and aren't as easy, well, as, as simple to work with. Um, they do have other features, though. Uh, and I'm just going to call it main.cpp, like any other file. Let's just do a basic hello world. Right? We got our hello stream. We have our using names base standard. We've got our int main with no parameters. Got my squiggly braces. I'm indenting. I'm going to do C out. Hello world. Got my endl, my semi, close it up. Right, so there's my basic program. Uh, to use Pico to save it, it's write out control O. Name of file to write is main cpp. It'll keep the same name, so that's a good thing. Okay, so now I'm done writing it. I'm going to exit out. Right, that's over here. This little caret means control. Control X. So now ls is the command that shows me what's in here. Um, so I have main.cpp. Let me compile it. Uh, the compiler is called G++. Uh, I'm going to compile main CPP, and I'm going to use minus O to make my executable, which is called hello. Everything worked fine, didn't report any errors. I'll do ls again. Notice hello has like a little asterisk after it. Um, if I do an ls minus L, a more detailed listing, um, you can see that it's got some X's in here, which means I can run it. Um, and I'm going to put dot slash hello means run hello out of the current directory as opposed to some other hello on the system somewhere. And there we go. We have our hello world. Uh, that's the way to do to do a single file remotely. Um, bye.